So not every investment is going to be a lump sum investment, and we've tried to create various different charts to mimic different scenarios. So if you've ever got a client that's regularly putting money into an investment or regularly taking money out, you can mimic that quite easily on analytics. So first and foremost, on the left-hand side, find what it is you want to throw into these charts. So in my case, I want to go and use a Vanguard Life Strategy Fund. So Vanguard Life Strategy, let's use 60%. Click on Add, that's what I want to analyze. And on the right-hand side, Go and select chart regular savings withdrawals. First of all, tell it what time period you want to chart over. Let's just do five years. Um, I want this to be a regular withdrawal. Uh, the client's got 400,000 ready to invest and they're regularly going to take 2,000 pounds a month as an income stream. And if you click on go, and you'll get a nice chart showing you the level of investment growth you've had over the last five years. In this case, £50,000 worth of capital return, but also you would have received the £2,000 a month income, which has been stripped from the chart performance for you. Regular savings work exactly the same way, but obviously in reverse. On the right-hand side, you can flip withdrawal to saving. Uh, this time, the initial investment amount going in is obviously optional. So I'm going to say there's a £100,000 initially invested, and my client's looking to regularly put £750 a month thereafter. The chart that loads up will then show you the pound cost averaging nature of adding money on a monthly basis. It will tell you at the very top how much you put in in total, so 145,000, and at the very, very bottom there under the chart in brackets, you've got the overall amount it's worth as of today, 204,865. Now these charts will work with any scenario, so whereas before I just had one fund, now I've changed it up a bit. I've now got two portfolios. The orange one is my client's existing portfolio and the green one is my proposed one. And I'm simply using the chart to show my client the reasons why I think this is a better drawdown strategy going forward. As you can see over the last five years, having drawn out 2000 pounds a month, my proposed solution would have done far better than what the client has at the moment. Something else to consider in these charts are growth rates. We try and promote these quite a lot. Under the market indices tab, very top here, if you change top indices to Financial Express, and to the right hand side of Financial Express, you get a number of growth rates load up ranging from 0% all the way to 15 and they accrue at about 0.25. And there's lots of different use cases for them. Um, I'm pretending in this scenario that I've got a client that I'm recommending my model portfolio three for. And we've had a discussion around cash flow and we've decided that their objective and maybe their target is to achieve 5% a year um, with that investment solution. So I've gone and grabbed the three, five and 7% growth rate. A little tip here, you can change the colors. So I want to make all of those blue and I'll make my model portfolio red. And on the right hand side, again, I'm trying to mimic a withdrawal strategy. So under performance, regular savings withdrawals, change that to five years on a regular withdrawal basis. Um, initial investment on day one, 400,000. Um, withdrawal type regular, I want to regularly take, let's say again, 2,000 pounds a month and click on generate. And therefore rather bamboozling clients with various different sectors and indices that they're not going to be aware of, mixed investment sectors, FTSE, MSCI, etc. It makes for a much easier chart for them to digest. You're simply showing that the client's portfolio arrangement we've just set up would have easily achieved 5% a year over the last five years. And in good market conditions, as we can see, it can quite easily achieve well over 7%. So another great use case for these growth rates is for forecasting. Um, in this case, perhaps I'm having a conversation, a fairly basic conversation with a client around how much money they have now, how much money they're looking to take from it every month, how much income they want to receive, and therefore how much capital they'll have in 10, 20, 30 years time. And rather than overcomplicating it, I can just simply take my growth rates that I think is relevant to this case. I think the client should be able to achieve 5% a year. And on the right hand side, I've Whack the performance period up to 20 years, in initial investment, still on 400,000 and a 2,000 pound a month income. And if you click on generate, it essentially creates a forecast. So I can show my client that over a 20 year window, even at 3% a year, taking 2,000 pound a month from that would still mean they'll have a 70,000 pound tank at the very end. Now I can also show them that that's why perhaps we're targeting maybe between five and 7% because if we can kind of achieve growth rates in between there over the next 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, they'll never run out of money. And exactly the same in reverse. I can flip that back to saving. Um, initial investment this time is 150,000. Regular investment thereafter is going in at 550 pounds a month. I wanna project that up over 20 years and again generate. And that would generate me a nice 20 year forecast showing my client that if they regularly put money in over a 20 year window and that investment solution I offer them grows between three and 7%, I can show them in monetary terms at the very bottom there in brackets, how much that pot should be worth 
with the amount of money going in, which in this case happens to be 282,000. And lastly on this, I can kind of mix forecasting with back-tested performance, because obviously on analytics, I've got all of the investment solutions and indices and sectors at my disposal. So under sectors, what about if I go and select unit trust and OICS, mixed investment sector, so I can at least show clients, look over the same time period 20 years previous, this is what the average investment solution has done over that 20 year window. And again, if you click on generate, you're showing the blue lines as forecast, showing whatever 20 year period we look at, the blue line is always gonna look like that. And the green line is that ghost from the past to say, look over the last 20 years, this is what the average investment solution has done in your risk profile um, on a regular savings basis, having put that amount of money in every month. And finally, a lot of our users will use these same charts on clients with cash. So in this example here, I've got a client sitting on a load of cash and I'm proposing they invest into an investment solution going forward because the rate they're getting in cash is at the moment so pitiful. So on the left hand side, I've selected the growth rate that closely resembles the, the rate that my client's getting, which happens to be 0.5%, just using the financial express growth rates. I've also grabbed RPI. As I said, I've grabbed my investment solution that I'm looking for them to use. And on the right hand side, I'm going to use a regular savings chart. So a five year basis, they've got 150K again to invest and regularly putting in 550 pounds a month. And again, click on generate. And you'll get a chart that will ultimately educate your client as to why cash can no longer be considered risk free. Because as you can see from here, over the last five years, I would have put in 183,000. And granted, with cash at the very bottom there, it's grown by 4,000 pounds. But actually, if you look at where RPI is, you can clearly show the client in monetary terms that they've lost 19,000 pounds worth of real value. And if they want to achieve a higher level than inflation and secure their capital, they're going to have to look at investment strategy, particularly over longer periods. So we hope you found that tutorial useful as ever. If you do need any help going forward, chat with an expert in the bottom right hand corner. That's our direct link to our help desk. On the left hand side, you've also got contact us, which will give you the email address and the phone number to our help desk. And incidentally, there's also a training team. You can schedule a training session whenever you like. And there are guides for every feature we go through here attached inside your analytics account, neatly divided into charts, tables and reports.